Imagine if you could date your ideal woman. She would look, walk, talk, and behave exactly like you've always imagined it. Too bad that can never happen, or can it? Companies are producing fembots or female robots by the thousands. They are fully customizable. They interact with you. They look like real life humans. And for some men, they're the next best thing. So does this mean these fembots will make women obsolete in the coming years? Keep watching to find out how this could become a multi-billion dollar industry in the future. Just recently, Real Boutiques made a fembot named Aria. They kicked off the year with one of the most realistic looking female robots in the world. Their mission is to build robots that are as realistic as possible, hopefully bridging the gap between robots and humans. Wait, wait, wait. Why would anyone want to bridge that gap in the first place? Well, there's a rising trend among younger and older men and robots. They simply prefer interacting with AI women and robot women instead of actual women because the robots don't talk back and they don't have a mind of their own. That and the fact that they can be customized to look however you want them to look. Aria was showcased at the 2025 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, highlighting her advanced capabilities. She can move, walk, and even talk like a human being. Ask her a question and Aria will answer it in seconds. And this robot comes from a company that used to make sex robots. However, unlike some earlier models, Aria does not have genitalia and is not anatomically correct as Real Botox no longer produces sex products. Instead, she focuses on social intelligence, customizability, and realistic human features designed specifically for companionship and intimacy. Aria can engage in meaningful conversations and enhance human experiences through interaction and fun. The company says that they've had dozens of buyers since releasing Aria and the majority of customers intend to display her at ceremonies, museums, and tech conventions so people can interact with her. But she's not the only one. Take Chloe, for example. She became popular because of her interactions online. People shared videos of her helping patients, playing games with kids. Her kind and human-like nature won people's hearts. Now, she represents the future of robots that care about humans. What makes Chloe unique is that she can be emotional. She reads facial expressions and body language, and she adjusts her actions based on how someone feels. For example, she can cheer up a sad person or stay quiet with someone who feels tired. This makes her feel more like a companion than just a machine. So, while RT600 Chloe is a humanoid robot designed for care and assistance, she became popular because of how advanced she is. Chloe looks human with soft features and smooth movements. Her voice sounds warm and friendly, which makes people smash that like button, just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, Chloe makes people feel comfortable around her. While these examples of feminine robots might actually seem like a dream come true, they're not real. They simply imitate real life, but more and more guys seem to prefer this over the usual choice. The first time the term fembot was used in TV was back in 1976 when they made a show called The Bionic Woman. And from a woman who could run as fast as a car, have the strength of 10 men, and leap giant cliffs in one fell swoop, the fembots have evolved and they have turned dark, but only in movies. In the Austin Powers movies, we had killer fembots with guns shooting out of there. And things have seriously changed since the 90s. These TV shows and movies began to play with this idea of fembots becoming evil and taking advantage of gullible men like an ex machina. Or if we go in a little different direction, then we have a show like Westworld, where in the near future, humans have built these theme parks with robotic hosts that are indistinguishable from real human beings. They are programmed never to harm humans. On top of that, the host robots must cater to the needs of their guests, no matter how sick or perverted they might be. But then something goes wrong and one of the robots becomes sentient which is where things begin to get out of control. Luckily, there's a writer who foresaw problems like these, and he came up with three laws to avoid this from ever happening again in the future. 
Back in 1942, Isaac Asimov, a science fiction writer, published a short story titled Runaround, which later became the central theme of many of his stories and novels. By publishing these stories, Asimov could explore the different ethical and practical dilemmas that exist in robotics and artificial intelligence. So he came up with three laws that every robot must abide by if they want to be a part of society. First, a robot may not harm a human being or through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. Second, a robot must obey the orders given to it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. And third, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. But is this enough to stop men from interacting with these fake AI women on the internet, throwing money at them in return for a cold, emotionless hug or a meaningless act of copulation? Well, as it turns out, according to a poll from InfoBip, about one in every five Americans have flirted with chatbots, and about half of them, or 47.2%, did so because they were curious, but the other half did it because they were either feeling lonely or they just wanted someone to interact with. Of course, 17% of the men said they were AI fished. That means they thought they were talking to a real person instead of a chatbot. Do you understand how dangerous this is? Men can no longer tell the difference between texting a real woman and an AI robot. The systems are becoming so advanced that people are spending thousands of dollars of their hard-earned money talking to these virtual AI girlfriends. In fact, according to some tech executives, the AI girlfriends industry will soon become a billion dollar business. It will basically be comfort at the end of the day, and it's already starting. There are currently AI influencers on Instagram with hundreds of millions of followers. For around $10,000, you can buy yourself a female, fully customizable AI robot that looks like your ideal woman. Plus, using AI text-to-speech software, this robot will talk and interact with you. If you're not quite there yet, then there are chatting services where you get to talk to the girl of your dreams for a few bucks a month. And the best part is you can customize her to tell you only stuff you like and never disagree with you. And the only reason this industry is growing is because people are paying good money for these virtual girlfriends because they offer, and I quote, comfort at the end of the day. For example, the CEO of Late Checkout, Greg Eisenberg, wrote a full blog post on X about his interview with a young man from Miami who spends around $10,000 a month on AI girlfriends. The guy was only 24 years old and he practically spent all of his money on these fake girls. How in the world does he spend $10,000 on AI girlfriends? Well, here's how he explained it. The young Miami man said, it's kind of like dating apps. You're not on only one. He added that the reason he loves these virtual girlfriends is because I get to customize my AI girlfriend. Likes, dislikes, etc. It's comfort at the end of the day. And the sad thing is, he's not the only one. There are more and more people going on these apps seeking the same comfort at the end of the day that this Miami man wanted. Therefore, it's only a matter of time before someone creates an AI version of dating apps and levels the playing field. What do I mean by that? Well, right now, men are at a disadvantage on dating apps. For every seven guys on Tinder, there's one woman. So it's not uncommon for men to face rejection far more often than women. These platforms could play it smart and give men the option to swipe left for once. Despite the consequences this might have on young men and how it will affect the dating game in the future, this is something men seem to want at the moment and nothing will stop them from getting it, even if it means paying $10,000 a month. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence one video at a time. 